Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from Miami, Florida, my hometown, with my boy, Chef Jason. What's Perot. going on, everyone? What are we doing today? We're doing Haitian food. Haitian food, yes. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. I've never had it before. I heard it's really rich. It's delicious. Those gravies, the goats, the stews, pretty oh. much. It's on my agenda. We yeah. got to do this. It's so good. Very big influence from the Creole, right? And definitely Caribbean also. Caribbean, is, of course. It has me excited. Where are we, by the way? So we are right now at Naomi's Garden, which is a restaurant and lounge here on 71st and Northwest 6. This is the cusp of Little Haiti, right. Little River, and Liberty City. Ooh, so, wow. right, so three neighborhoods on this corner, basically. Pretty much. And I yeah. mean, it's beautiful, it's breezy, sun is out, and of course, it smells good already. Yeah, I'm excited. So, this place has a window, so you can come here and order right here. Look, Jason, look. Oh, hey, how you doing? Very good. Got wow. lots of food. Look at the spread, David. Like it's the oxtails I'm seeing, I'm seeing the chicken, you see the chicken stews, you see the soups, you know, the casseroles. Yeah, I mean, beans, chickpeas, wow! So they have so much. They have vegan options, they have meat, they have seafood, they have poultry, they have greens, extra sides. So right now we're going to go inside, we're going to meet with Naom, which uh, he's the owner, Naom, right? Candice, you're excited? Yes, it's my first time trying Haitian food, right? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. My hey, man, uh, how you hey, doing? How are you? Very good. How are you? Good to see you too. Welcome to Naomi's. Thank you. So you ready? I'm ready. What are we great. doing? We got a lot of great food for you guys today. <laughs> so why don't we go see what we're cooking today. Okay. We got a whole bunch of stuff. We're kind of getting ready for lunch right now. And so the cooks have been cooking up a storm. Jacqueline, Jacqueline's cooking all this stuff up right how now. How you doing Jacqueline, you good? Yes. Um, so what are you doing right there, beans? Yes. So lots of beans, rice. Over here we have a puree. Yes. What do we have over there? We got mai, mai right over there. Mai? Mai zone. That's yellow mai, uh, yellow cornmeal. And this one, tell him, Jacqueline, what's this one right here? Mai kole. Mai kole. Mai kole means cornmeal with stuff in it. And so this has coconut milk, pinto beans, a whole bunch of spices. It's unbelievable. Right? That's, these two we serve for breakfast, actually, okay. and then throughout the day. And then the rices are being prepared for the lunch. So Jacqueline's getting all the pinto beans and all that stuff ready for the jiri kole. Oh, you're doing that like that? I don't even remember the food I had from Haitian cuisine, but I know a lot of goat stews, a lot of curries, right? Very similar. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's very earthy, it's rich, obviously it's cooked for a very long time, so the meat falls off the bone. Mm -hmm. But I mean, uh, this already smells good. I'm seeing the rice here. This oh, is yeah, the beans. They got all the greens on this side here, and then all the meats are going to be prepared on this side here. So this is Bebe. Bebe is cooking all the meats today. Yeah. Yeah. So she's just finishing the last little breakfast thing, which is the, yeah. the steamed vegetables. And what's this? Because it looks this amazingly is, rich. This is oxtail. Oxtail. That's oxtail. So this has been cooking for many, many hours. And so she's just finishing this up right now. So once this is finished, she'll dress it up and do all this stuff and put it up front. But oxtail cooks for about four hours or so. Combien, combien terre pour cuit This is a... This Dude, is how do you speak Haitian? <laughs> I, I, well, it's Creole, Creole. Creole. Uh, it's Haitian Creole. I, I don't speak it super well, but I get the message across. And it's just because I've been, I was born at this restaurant with a lot of these ladies my whole life. It's amazing. So, like, come in and you, which I like. Venta? Venta. Venta. She's been here for like over 20 years. Wow. Jacqueline has been here over 20 years. Cecilia, many, many years. My dad met her on the bus and she was looking for a job and she's been here for 20 years. It's amazing. You know what I mean? So it's like, and then Melissa I've been up front. Some boss, very good. Yes. Thank you. Man. Understand? Boss, very good thank boss. You, thank you. <laughs> love Asian. Yeah, love Asian. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's look at this. Cecilia, this is Epi's. Epi's is a, a spice blend, a wet spice blend that we make. It has parsley, garlic, green onions, tomatoes, and just so many things. She could show you the whole recipe. And that's the that piece, piece of Haitian food, is this spice one. And oh, so she's yes. gonna marinate this chicken for about three, four days. This is gonna be marinated for three, four days. Yeah. Just sitting with, just with the sitting marination. Just sitting with the marinade. It's, and it's and called, that's why it's so good. And it's called Effie. Epis. Epis. Okay, Epis. So it just means spices. Spices. So this spices. is in everything Haitian, you have Epis. Epis. Yes. At the bottom of the rice, 
had the bottom of the rice when you saw that stuff kind of in the oil, mm -hmm. that was the same F pieces we're putting in the meat. It's very similar to like back in Trinidad and Tobago, pork. We season our chicken similarly like this with our green seasoning, the minced garlic, the shadow benny, the celery, the garlic, the side inside there. And we marinate it for extended periods of time. We believe that the flavor really soaks in, mm -hmm. it gets inside there, and you want to get that true flavor. Oh man, I'm excited for this. Right. This is going to be so good. But we're not eating this while you have it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, we have it. Yeah. <laughs> It serves 600 meals a day, so this is gonna go really quick. Wow, huge chicken. Huge, look at that. Drumsticks are massive. The cabbage salad looks good, but the oxtail. Yeah, oxtail. I'm about to jump in here. Huh? I'm about to jump in there. 20. Oh. Oh yeah, guys, look at that beautiful oxtail. It's like an oxtail curry, right? Yeah, yeah, oxtail curry, curry. So rich. Look at that, the oils. Yeah. This looks real good. I cannot wait for the oxtail. Oh yeah. That's gonna be the best. <laughs> okay, baby. What is this, Jackman? Ziri Kole. Ziri Kole. And what do you have inside? Kibagayake and dam. Epis. Epis. Zonion. Onions. Pesci. Parsley. Garlic. Garlic. Epis blende. Blended spices. Okay, nice. Yeah. And then rice. I'm surprised you understand Creole. <laughs> it's not so bad. It's not so bad. No. I understand some of those words. Yeah, you know, when you know a little French, a little. Exactly. When you're around here every day with all these other people, then we just kind of learn. This is a mac and cheese, sir? Spicy baked macaroni and cheese. Spicy baked macaroni and cheese. I mean, it looks like a massive lasagna. Ooh, it's on fire. <laughs> oh, it's on yeah. fire. And it's going to be spicy. <laughs> All right, I have to try this. You got to try that. I have to try it. I'm trying everything. Look at this. The chicken, it's so much. Look at the oh, size. Yeah. Wow. I mean, if I get it like Antonia, I'm pretty much satisfied. Yeah, it's smoking. 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 Yeah, it's Huge difference. Yeah, so this is going to be the big chicken. So this is going to be for like an hour and a half, more or less. We have these massive ovens over here. Right. And so um, we also make fried chicken, like fried chicken, but it's the same, the same chicken that'll be baked or fried. This is the same for the baked chicken and the fried chicken. You batter it up, fry it, or you just bake it? It's actually not battered. It's just fried just as like it is. Yes. So in the Haitian style, the fried chicken is unbattered fried. So pretty much it's gluten free. That's it good. It is gluten free. Yeah, what do yeah. you think about True. it? Wow. True. Just naturally. But then the jerk chicken is also plated the same way, but it's a different spice blend. It's a jerk seasoning, and the pieces are cut smaller right. so that that seasoning kind of like penetrates, and penetrates inside even inside. more. Look at that sauce. Wow. We got a amount of chicken here, guys. It just doesn't end. This chicken, the incredible marination. It's just there for three days. And sorry, we're having a whole Creole conversation back here. It's really amazing. I mean, the aroma coming out of here, guys, it smells. You have no idea. So many herbs, so rich. Mm, so good. Listen, this is the same, right? That chicken and this chicken, same thing, right? What they did earlier on, and it's now roasted, probably like about 45 to an hour in Italian. Look at the color of this. Realistically, it smells so good. Like, you get attracted, you get unnatural gravy inside it. So, you know, that's going to go on top of the macaroni pie. Brilliant place. So that's the sauce that she made with the rice. Okay, so this is just sauce that she's removing because it's overflowing right now. Overflow. Okay, that's so what's happening. Rice cooks, she's going to add it back in to make sure the flavoring is all there. So it's just because we're cooking such massive quantities all the time. These are the biggest pots that you can get if they don't make things. Yeah. I mean, you guys are making for a lot of people, right? Because people come throughout the whole day and buy right there in the window. Right at the window. And Whoa. also tons of delivery and pickup and whatever. But so we have a, about 600 meals total a day between the window and the delivery system and the pickup system. So it's a whole, and then sitting in the garden as well. So that's a total with the entire operation. We haven't even showed you the garden yet, but we'll get to that in a second. I think we have to go serve ourselves, right? There's so many things to try. We're going to serve like three huge plates. Follow me. Let's go. This is breakfast over here. So basically like the breakfast menu is these two fish dishes. Wow. And then the mai, and then a couple things that, that actually this one right here, the spaghetti with hot dogs. With hot dogs, like a spicy one, right? Uh, yeah, you gotta try that just for fun. We're trying everything. Yeah. I'm trying everything, dude. It's a, I'm excited. Spaghetti for breakfast, most people are like, what? Uh, I know, I know. But it's so good. You know what I sometimes do if I have leftover spaghetti or leftover pasta, I'll yeah. throw it with eggs in the morning. There you go. You know, and so we serve eggs mix. in the morning, so some people actually get the spaghetti with eggs. Into the mix. You know? Um, Jason, look at this. Look at this. And then we do um, 
intense. Can we do liver stew wow. for breakfast? Liver stew. Beef liver for yeah. breakfast. Yeah. Do we still have any left or yeah. a little bit left? You had like a, you remember you had the liver with the chickpea and the chana, uh -huh. the cheese. Yeah. This is going to be a similar style, right? Yeah, yeah it's all, all the Caribbean islands have their wow. similarities, you know what I mean? This is just so rich about food. It's all the, the ingredients of the islands when you see when you put it together. Yeah. You all have similar foods, just different influences, yeah. different spices, sometimes a little bit of different methodology, but the flavors are all there. This is pickles. So Janine makes these once a week. These are pickled, very, very spicy salad. So it's cabbage, carrots, habanero peppers, and onions. And this is a must have on the side of every meal. It is so good. I'm thinking everything. Like uh, everything, we want to taste it. But the oxtail is definitely that chicken with a piece. The jerk chicken he yeah. said is amazing. Yeah, really, really both good. of these are amazing. This is the one that you saw them make. Yeah, it was definitely. I want to try that spicy macaroni pie. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's a must. Maybe maybe one fish item. Yeah, so we're getting we're getting it. Do a fried fish. That's really the best seller. The fried fish. Whatever you think. Let's okay. do it. So yeah. let's let's get three dish like three plates and just stack them. So I'll have them fry a grouper for you, which is a fillet, and that is ridiculous. And it's the same preparation as the salmon. For me, it's grouper and kingfish grouper. all day. Let's yeah, yeah. So this has been marinated in this sauce over here that they make for the fish. We have someone that comes specifically to prep the fish. Okay. So I'm just gonna batter that. It's a very simple batter, just flour, because it's already got so much flavor in the in the marinade. So it doesn't actually need anything in the in the batter. The first one, who's going first? Jason? Let's go. So uh, let's try the pinto beans, yep. rice. Nice pinto beans. Remember, everywhere in the islands, you always have the rice and peas. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. Jamaicans have the red beans and rice. You have the pinto beans here. Let's try the pot. Absolutely. The macaroni is. Unbelievable. Look at that nice creamy au gratin finish to that. Oh, beautiful. Some oxtail. Oxtail for sure. Oh, beautiful. Want some gravy on the rice? Yeah, most definitely. Of course, it has to be. You need that extra juice. I want to try a little bit of this. Legume. There's some mashed vegetables right there. Small piece of your a piece chicken. Sure. Quickly. Absolutely. I think I'm good with that. All right, let's do it. It's so colorful, David. Look Sorry, at the yes. colors already. It's like your pickle, your relish to go with it. Yes, exactly. So we'll do the white rice right here. Right. Okay. What else would you like to try? I want to try the pie as well. So what is this, this yellow stuff there? So what this is, is my moulet. What so is So this that? is cornmeal. Uh -huh. It's mostly for, for breakfast. Hello. And then this one is cornmeal with Hello. pinto beans and oh coconut milk God. and all kinds wow. of stuff. It, it reminds me of grits. Yeah, yes. same it's thing. It's like grits, but it's just like a little bit, it's like this one is like a little bit more flavorful because it's got the coconut milk and the creaminess and all that. If you're not going to try that, I'm going to try it, Candice. Yeah, we'll try a little bit. That's what, that's what tastes then. There you go. We've got the spinach too. That. It's got lima beans and carrots in it. Looks really good. So that's a delicious dish. Um, Are you into meats? We yeah. have like the goat stew. We have the curry goat. The curry chicken, the jerk chicken, which we have it. I definitely think that you should get the jerk chicken, which is a spicy chicken. Yeah. Um, the goat stew is okay. a very so try a little bit of beautiful. So we'll have a little bit of jerk chicken, and then we'll get a little bit of the goat stew right here. And then I'm going to put the black beans on the rice for you. Yeah. And I want to try your pickle. Absolutely. I think everybody's trying it. I'm trying. There we go. So lastly, sweet potato. This is a fried sweet potato. Absolutely. All right. There we go. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. Beautiful. For me, I'm just letting him build whatever he wants. But for sure, jerk chicken. For sure, jerk chicken. Um, I'm definitely going to put this one. This rice is like the classic. The so king. Gotta try that. Nobody's tried the curry goat yet. Let's try it. And that's really good. So I'd say try a little bit of that. This is the best selling meat dish, even though it's the most expensive thing on the menu. Um, the oxtail? The oxtail. Oh, yeah. Right over there. A little bit of the potatoes. And then definitely some jerk chicken. Have to. This is one of my favorite dishes. It is not the prettiest dish I've ever seen in my life, but it is so freaking delicious. So that's the legim, that's a mash of veggies. Legim. Yeah, this is my comment. Oh. A little bit. I have, for, for breakfast, I got that with the fish. Unreal. And then let's get you some pickles, and on the side I'm going to get you some spaghetti. There we go. I'll get you a crispy plantain, and then I'll get you a couple of sweet plantains as well. Wow, that looks amazing. Guys, thank you so much. So I've got that ready. Karen, can you bring a little plate for the grouper? Brunch is served. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Walking out of the kitchen, straight onto the street.
and now we're going to the garden. This place is amazing. It's like a hidden gem. I didn't know this place existed. It's like a little now hidden, I know. Hidden oasis, right? Yeah, yeah. Check it out if you enter. Amazing, big space. And you, you were born literally right there. Right there on that stage. On that stage? On that stage. It no wasn't way. a stage then, but yeah. Same spot, they had, there was a room there. Pretty much at this point in time, I, uh, I just can't wait. That ox tail has me mesmerized. Yeah, so I mean, we have a big mix. I think we have a few things the same, like the oxtail jerk chicken. They're just different, right? We even got the spaghetti. Mm -hmm. And we got that beautiful filet of grouper. Oh, the grouper looks amazing. Yeah. yeah, it looks so good. And then there's like no real sauces here besides the sauces that came with it, like the curries, right? Natural gravies pretty much at this point in time. Mm -hmm. I mean, that sucks up into the rice, into the pie. Everything just harmonizes. I love those greens, by the way. Oh yeah, so right here we have the spinach, right? Yeah. What do you got? The pureed vegetables, mm -hmm. cabbage, the carrots inside there. And uh, this is known as the legume here. Pretty much just like the staple. All right, so we'll try it. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna try some of the spinach first. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like a creamy spinach, but super light on the cream and almost no salt. It's almost like oh, you have collard greens, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say. And so, and it's still not cooked over to the point where you lose the color. It's vibrant. Exactly. And if you overcook it, then then you lose all you the, lose the nutritional, nutritional value. values. What I do like is that the spice in this uh, the pinto beans and rice. Mm. I could just eat this alone. Oh man, but this is amazing. The vegetables do. Whoa. I, I, I just believe that this is probably really super healthy. Mm. I mean, it feels super healthy. So much flavor in there. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. I'm going to on jerk chicken. I've had jerk chicken before in, um, in Jamaica, but I didn't know that in Haiti they do as well. I'm guessing it's just a we Creole even, influence. We do uh, Jamaica, uh, we even do jerk chicken in Trinidad and Tobago also. I think all the islands do it. The Jamaicans do it best. Mm. But tell me what you think about the Haitian jerk chicken. Oh my God, it's amazing. Mm. Nice pepper, super tender. Fall off the bone. Check this out. Mm. This now is the oxtails. That's the oxtail right there. I look at that, it's just dripping with that nice, unctuous mm. gravy off of it. This is the stuff that I've been waiting for. Oxtail is everything that you would want to have. It's like full of flavor. <clears throat> so succulent. It's amazing. Falling off the bones. Full oxtails. They're always just skimpy with meat. Mm -hmm. This is so full. Mmm. Look at that. That's good, boy. Yeah, it looks amazing. For me, the best part of the oxtail is that the the bone, the bone marrow. You know? Oh yeah, when you pull it, you suck that when out. When you pull it out. Oh, I got it here too, look. Mm -hmm. mm. Good, right? It's more than good. And you're getting a little bit of cumin inside there, mm -hmm. a little bit of spice inside there also, black pepper, salt, a little bit of the piece also that does that. Look at that marrow, man. Right, exactly, so the marrow, go like this, right? Look at it, look at it, look at this fall out. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. If it doesn't all come out, you suck it up. And that's good collagen. Everyone who does fillers for the mm -hmm. lips, they will tell you, you that's need good, that right? My gosh, what a plate. Mm -hmm. What a plate. You know what I'm really interested to try? Mm -hmm. The pickly. Oh, the pickly, me too. Yeah, I just had it. Because it's spicy. It's spicy. Cabbage salad. Spicy? Yeah. It's spicy, but it's good. It's spicy good though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's nice. You got a little bit of vinegar inside though, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very pungent salad. Oh, wow. Mm. You know, it's almost like it's similar to like the Koreans have the kimchi. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Almost the same thing, right? Almost In terms same. of the heat, too. Except that one is fermented, this one is fresh. This one's fresh. Oh, I love the rice. So actually try the sweet potato. Sweet potato? Yeah, I like actually sweet potato. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that, beautiful. So it's crispy on the outside. Mm -hmm. So good, soft and tasty on the inside. It really depends on what you want. If you want vegan, they got it. If you want heavy meat, got seafood, you have poultry. Listen, and you can, the amount of options you have to choose from, you don't need to have even sauces. If you decide that you just want to be on a protein no, diet, yeah. or vegetable diet, mm -hmm. look at fish. Mmm, the maduro sweet plantain, so tasty. So sweet. You can't beat plantains. No, you can't. You can't. And the oxtail, they left that, you know, extra gravy in there. You mix it with the rice. So this is the apice chicken, roasted as we saw earlier on. This was probably roasted for an hour plus. Look at the color on it. It's crispy and nice. Oh my god! Listen, <laughs> if you're like a little bit hesitant about the oxtail or even the spice, this is safe. This is beautiful. It's just so flavorful on its own. It's so moist, the ties inside there. It just keeps the palatability. 
and that retention of moisture going on. You can tell that. Look at that. Beautiful dark meat. Really, yeah. I, I love the jerk chicken. Jerk chicken is outstanding. Mm hmm. Mm. We gotta try the fish in a little while. Mm hmm. Mm. Man, I just love how this pulls off the bone. It's good stuff, boy. Mm hmm. The real food. You know, I was looking up places, Haitian restaurants in Miami, and this was ranked one of the best. So I was like, you know, we have to go. Plus the garden, this is a gem out here. I mean, I didn't even expect this. I didn't expect a small restaurant, you know? I think they wanted to recreate something of about the other Haitian vibe going on. Exactly. It's very clean, it's all fresh food, it's fresh air, good food. And of course, good stuff, you know? Great stuff. Yeah. Love the stuff here. I love the setting. Yeah, and that's stage for entertainment. And, you know, mm -hmm. It's relaxing too. Yeah, I'm guessing there's entertainment at night, you know? Yeah. yeah. Here transforms in the night, so pretty much you're gonna have a really brilliant experience here. We haven't tried this guy. It's almost like the grits, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some of that. You have? Oh yeah, look, it gets hard just like the grits. Yeah. It's cornmeal, right? It's cornmeal, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kidney beans. I think they probably put some juices of some, some one of the curries, right? Yeah. You got all that signature spices that she spoke to you about earlier on. The epice. There's the, a base for a lot of the flavors for this, like the, the epice. vegetables, the chicken, the oxtails. So you're gonna get that fresh garlic, that onion. All those great flavors coming through. Mm, it's so tasty, so healthy, grainy. When you talk about Haitian food, it's also like Caribbean native. Mm -hmm. and Caribbean people really believe in maximum flavor in their food, marination processes, in terms of the herbs, the spices, the mm -hmm. seasonings, the, everything. They don't skimp on flavor. There's no, it's no such thing as black pepper and salt. Yeah. Oh, that, that thing's hot. <laughs> close up. It's not close up. It's pick, pickly. Pickly. It's a relish. Okay. Pickles are good. Oh. Pickles are always so add. Good. Pickles always add a little bit of vibrancy, a little bit of piquant mm -hmm. to what it is. A little bit of heat. It's like a chutney, piquant. relish, those kind of stuff. You get it, one. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm getting the hotness, so. I just want to big up the pie, you know. Oh, well, the pie. I just want to big up the cheese, you know. You know what? You're going to try the pie? I'm going to try the, the spaghetti. Okay, great. Let's see. Spaghetti with some sausage. Boom. This is the top of the pie for me. Mm. You like that? Mm. Anyway, is that andouille sausage? I think so. It's good. It's not my thing, especially for breakfast. Yeah. But it's tasty. That's the thing about everything they do in Haitian cuisine. There's so much taste, so much flavor, right? Most definitely. So yep. many sides. Mm -hmm. They're vibrant people, so they like good tasting food. Mm -hmm. It just reflects in the food, I guess. It reflects in the food. Yeah. And he gave me a mountain of rice here, so. <laughs> the portions are huge, right? So pretty much you come here, two people could probably eat on it if you have a small appetite. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm pretty sure they do it by weight, from my understanding. Well, I, gotta, I gotta see. Yeah. Mm. In Trinidad, we didn't have that much oxtail. No, we had no oxtail in Trinidad, right? We didn't have oxtail. I actually wanted to give you uh, barbecue pigtails. Oh, yeah. Everywhere we went, it was always sold out. Yeah, we didn't. They're that good, right? Get, oh, thank you. We didn't get to try that. I think that lastly, let's try this. Yeah, let's try the fish. All right, so how do you do it? Let's just break it. Break it, brother. Let's break a piece. Let's go. And if you want to, just add some of the heat. I'll add that after. Yeah. This juicy. Oh, wow. Another rooster up there. Because I see them. Um, <laughs> Chicken fly. Yeah. Walk the back. This is good. Mm. No Walk bones. Back. Mm -hmm. So try the fish with the pickle. Now we're going to get some of the pickle on the side. The on the fish, like directly on it? Yeah. Like that. Oh, it's spicy. I'm just going to cut this guy in half because I know how my boy does with the spice. He's not good with the spice. Yeah, it's a spicy macaroni pie. Oh, that's what it is? So you get the paprika, all that great uh, cayenne coming through inside there. Mmm. Mmm. I told you. Perfect combo. I told you. Have some. Take a piece of fish. Yes. This fish is so good. Mm hmm. So tasty. I'm having this. I swear, like, this is such a Caribbean thing. The definite must have. It reminds me of when you did like uh, the bacon shark mm -hmm. yeah. and you had like the fried shark and all that good cabbage and lettuce on top of it. <laughs> you see, the flavors are different to some degree, but the ingredients remain the same pretty much. But this is so good. Look at the guys behind you. <laughs> My friend. So, what I love about this place is that you get fresh juices. So, they got me carrot, passion fruit, and papaya. No additional sugar. <laughs> no added sugar. That's raw juice. Candice, I'm just gonna drop it on top. Yeah, just drop it on top. It's so good. Like that. 
You gotta crunch. You gotta be careful. Right there, like all the juices came out of that. <laughs> <laughs> you like mm -hmm. that, right? Told you. Mm -hmm. Good, right? Fresh. It's crunchy. The salad, amazing. You know, in Jamaica, they fry fish and they make something called escovitch topping. Escovitch topping. Yeah, so they use the carrots inside there. Okay, and it's trying to tell us vinegar. It's and it's vinegar based. Okay. And when they top that on top, you get that nice, similar flavors going on. Yeah, that is exceptional. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, that is Haiti, right? That's yeah. that's Haiti right there. Haiti in a bowl. Haiti in a bowl. And wow, we ate a lot. It was amazing. What do you guys think? Oh, no way garden? Yeah, I mean, I'm full at this point in time, pretty much. I think I need a, like a big truck to lift me. This is what we call, this is what we call in the islands, ethnic fatigue. <laughs> That's when you eat and you just feel to sleep. Even, even the chickens, uh, they agree with us. <laughs> the one-legged chicken. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, this place is amazing. It's a hidden gem. Never knew about it. Haitian food here in Miami, right here outside of Little Haiti. Really good. What, what was your favorite thing? I would have to say definitely the, that macaroni, spicy macaroni pie, the oxtails and the beans and rice, the pinto beans and rice is excellent. The vegetables too. Oh yeah, that's just, a, yeah, wow. just using whatever you have and making it work. Yeah. And uh, that, that, that was really good. The, the greens were actually very good also. The greens were good. I mean, everything's so fresh. Everything's made daily. Nothing's frozen. So chicken fresh, the goat. What else do we have? So we have oxtail. I had goat. You have goat? And then we had that sort of a corn grit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really nice also. The plantains were your favorite. Oh my god, and then we had the spaghetti. Yeah. I mean, everything here is phenomenal. You can come here in the mornings, right at the window, or you can come inside for lunch, dinner. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Haitian food in Miami with my boy, Chef Jason Peru. Thanks for having me. And Candice Mohan. And if you guys love this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment below. Mmm, I got spice now. <laughs> I'm like hurting. All your sinus is just Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, it's hitting me. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, comment below, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one here in Miami.